Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, I will be showing you how you can use the trends feature inside of SEMrush. If you do not yet have a SEMrush account and you would like to get started, I will leave a link down in the description where you can go ahead and sign up for a seven day free trial of SEMrush. So once you have either signed up for your free trial or you have logged in to your SEMrush account, all we are going to do to access the trends area is scroll down and on this left hand side, we can click into trends. So in the trends area, we can see we have this get started section, and this is just going to give us an overview into everything that we get with the trends section. So it's going to give us an overview into what we get with traffic analytics, then market explorer, ion, and one to target. And you can see these are all of the options that we have down here and everything that we can do inside of trends. To give you a brief overview into this and explain what trends is, it is essentially competitor analysis that you might be doing for your business. So the first category we have in here is traffic analysis. And this is specifically going to be looking at you and your competitor's website. And you can see a breakdown of your own website traffic, and then we can compare this to competitors. So I'm just going to use an example. And let's say in this example that I am the owner of apple.com, a nice big example for you there. So let's type in apple.com so we can enter that in right there and then click on analyze. So once again, this is my company in this example, I own apple.com. And in here is now going to show me my traffic analytics for my website. So right now, this is showing me traffic for the current month, which is June. It's showing me traffic worldwide and traffic on all devices. Now you can change these, but you do need to upgrade to SEMrush Trends and buy this package right here if you do want to flick back through previous months. The same for countries, if you want to select individual countries or if you want to select individual devices, then you do have to upgrade to Trends. But for now, we can just take a look at the analytics that we are given right here. So we can see the visits that we have had this month on the website. And it's telling me that 43% of these visits are coming from a computer and then 56% are coming from a mobile device. We can then see the unique visitors for this month is 384 million. We can see the pages per visit. So what this means is when somebody lands on your website, what is the average amount of pages that they click on, they click through when they are on your website. We can also see the average visit duration, so how long people spend on your website, and we can also see the bounce rate. So the bounce rate essentially means what percentage of people came to the website and just saw the website and they left before they clicked on anything. So this is 61% right here. And we can also see these analytics that's going to show us the difference month over month. So we can see that this month in June is 1% worse than in May. So this went down by on average four seconds. And the bounce rate right here is slightly higher. It went from 61.07 to 61.13%. We can then go down and see the trend by device. So this is showing us since the start of the year, how many visits we have had to the website on each device. So all devices is going to be blue and then desktop and mobile are in green. So that is visits. We can flick over to unique visitors. Purchase conversion is going to be blocked, I think. Yes, we do have to upgrade for this. We can then see the pages per visit. So we can see that people on desktop are on average, they are viewing more pages every time they visit apple.com than mobile users are. So that's some information we can take right there. We can then see the average visit duration. So once again, desktop is far ahead and we can see people spend on average more than two minutes more on the website when they are visiting this on desktop. And then we can see the bounce rate as well. And once again, mobile is just the worst traffic for this website on Apple right here. And we can see the bounce rate is a lot higher on mobile. We can then go down and we can see the traffic channels by type. So essentially, where did this traffic come from? All of this traffic, the 371 million visits we got, where did this come from? So we can see that 431 million of these came direct, meaning that people went to the web browser right here, typed in apple.com and then went to apple.com. That is direct. Then referral is when they click the link and somebody referred them to the website. Organic search is when they searched on Google and then clicked on the website. Paid search is from ads. Organic social is from social media profiles. So Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, things like that. Paid social is paid social media ads. And then we have email. So how many people came from the emails that they send and how many came from display ads? We can go down and we can see the journey source. So the top sources, people going into the website. And then once they left the website, where did they go from there? So we can see apple.com, icloud.com, microsoft.com, google.com, all of these different websites. And then if we go down, we can see distribution by country. 
So I can see that with Apple.com, most visitors are coming from the United States. This is 34%. Then almost 5% are coming from India, 4% are coming from Japan, 3% are coming from the UK, and we can see all of that data right there. So that is our own website analysis. But what we can do is we can go to the top and we can add some competitors in here. So I'm going to go into competitors and let's add in, let's just go for facebook.com and let's also add Instagram into here. I know these don't directly correlate as businesses, but this is just an example. We can click on compare and now we can see a comparison between these. So how many visits each of these websites has, the unique visitors, the pages per visit, average visit duration and bounce rate. And then we can see the trend right here. So Apple is blue, Facebook is green and Instagram. So we can see all of the same statistics. The only difference with this now is that we have all of the competitors on here. So we can basically compare our statistics in all of these different areas against the competitors that we added. So that is traffic analytics. Next, we have market explorer, and this is more specifically for businesses. So in here, let's just go back to lists. So in here, let me actually add some companies that relate to each other. We can go for Facebook, then we can go for Instagram, and let's go for x.com. I hope that is actually going to calculate Twitter because it recently just changed, but we will have a look. Okay, perfect. So in here, we can see the market share of each of these. So from these social media platforms, we can see Facebook has a 54% market share of these. We can then see the total market traffic, the market traffic cost, the market size. We can go down and see some of the top keywords. I'm definitely going to have to blur a few of these right here. But from there, we can go down and see the total traffic trends. We can see the traffic distribution, the audiences, the locations for each of these. And as I said, traffic analytics is going to be more comparison for traffic to websites, whereas Market Explorer is specifically looking at the market within that. So that is Market Explorer. We can then go to Ion, and Ion is fantastic if you want to track and keep an eye on your competitors. It's basically a tracking tool. So in here, let's say that I am Facebook in this example, and I want to keep an eye on Instagram and Twitter. Okay, so we can add up to 20 here, but I'm just going to go with start monitoring. So we can see all updates and the changes that they have made. So all of these different things that they have added, we can see Google search ads. So we can see Instagram has run 11,000 search ads compared to X's 29. We can then see blog posts that they have added to the website. So not really relevant for these two companies and new pages that have been added to the website as well. We can then go down and see the traffic channels. So essentially where the traffic is coming from for both of these companies. So we can see most of this is coming from direct people searching directly for this. Instagram is getting more organic search volume and then organic social X is actually taking over here. So this is just something we can keep an eye on. This is going to be more relevant and more helpful for blogs, I would say, where we can keep track of blog posts and things like this. But Ion is basically a tracking tool that helps you track your competitors. And then finally, we have one to target. And this is essentially going to show you how companies audiences engage online. So just in this example, let's go with amazon.com. And we can add more competitors up here, but this is going to show us information about their audience. So we can see between male and female. So male is this dark blue and female is the lighter blue. We can see that with these websites, it looks like the age of 25 to 34 is the most popular. And then we can see the male to female split. So it's almost 50, 50. And then we can see the age goes down the older that the people get. We can then see the sex of the people that are on the website. So slightly more male for both of these. And then once again, we can see the unique visitors. We can see the distribution by country. And then we can go along the top and search even more. So we can see socioeconomics. How big are the households of people who shop on Amazon? So this one right here is between three to four people. So people who have three to four people in their house, this is the biggest percentage of Amazon traffic. We can then see the income level right here. So most of Amazon's traffic is low income. Then we have a little bit more in middle and then a small amount is high. Only 9% of people who visit Amazon are high income. Then we can see the employment status. So most people are in full-time work. 15% are unemployed. We then have the education level and we can really take a deep dive into this and even see like what people are interested in, what devices they are using, what social media they use. It's actually a pretty crazy tool, right? So that is how you can use one to target. And that is how you can use SEMrush Trends. So that is how you can use the trends feature inside of SEMrush. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.